Hey, hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4195 and today we're going to be customising the brand new BF Weevil. So this car actually came out in GT Online two weeks ago and um, you couldn't actually buy it off the store, which you now can. Um, you had to do a number of contract missions to unlock this vehicle and then English Dave would uh, give you this car for free for helping out um, the new DJs in the music locker. So I went ahead and unlocked it. You can see it comes here with this awesome hippie livery on it but if you buy it off the website then it will just come uh, without this livery in what color option you chose so let's just jump into the vehicle and see what we can do with it all right so here we are in the mod shop and uh, this thing has a lot of customization i've already actually been in to check what customization it has everything you see here is stock obviously except the livery um, and something to note with this vehicle is it is actually in the compact class, which is kind of interesting. Rockstar have added two new vehicles to the compact class this year, which personally I am a huge fan of, so that is absolutely super. But let's first go and throw on the armor and the brakes. Now we've got a lot of different bumper options. So we've got the stock front bumper, nice chrome simple one there with the number plate. We can go for a bumper delete. We can go for the plastic bumper, which actually is just the stock bumper, but it has that plastic lip splitter on the bottom there. We can go for that in a primary version. Now you can see it a bit better. Whatever and we can go for that in a secondary version. Let me actually just go ahead and change up the secondary color. Um, I'll just set that to something like red so you can just see what the secondary color is changing. So you can already see that the secondary color changes up the wheels there. So let's go back into bumper options. So now you can see the secondary color is gonna be that. Then we've got the carbon version of that. It's exactly the same, just carbon. Then we can go for the no bumper with the splitter in primary, secondary, or carbon. Then we've got the extended bull bar, which looks actually really cool. You can turn this thing into an off-road buggy if you want to. Now we already have the BF injection in the game, um, which is technically an off-road Baja Beetle. And there's a lot of parts you can get on this vehicle to make it look like the BF injection, but you can't get it identical. I have already tried. Um, but I don't really know what build I'm gonna go for here. I think I wanna go for an off-road build. I think I'm gonna go for like a Baja Desert Runner kind of look, but we'll just keep going through the options. So we've got the Boogie Bull Bar, we've got the Baja Bull Bar, we've got the Injection Bull Bar, that is from the BF Injection. We've got the Chrome Extended Bull Bar, the Chrome Boogie Bull Bar, the Chrome Baja Bull Bar, the Chrome Injection Bull Bar, and that is the lot. So I'm going to go for the Boogie Bull Bar, that looks really cool, I like that. On the rear, we've got this nice stock rear look here. We can go for a removed bumper. We can go for the plastic one, which is actually gonna be a plastic bumper this time. We can go for the injection rear cage, which kind of matches what we have on the front. We can go for the buggy rear cage. We can go for the Baja rear cage, which is just gonna add that extra little bull bar near the number plate there, and also the aerial. We've got the chrome injection rear cage the chrome buggy rear cage and the chrome baja rear cage well since we've got the matte black bull bar on the front i want to match that on the back and i actually really like i think i like the buggy rear cage a bit more or maybe the baja actually because it has that little area which, which That's looks pretty driver. cool the engine options, no options to change the look of the engine, just the upgrades. The exhausts, so as stock we have those two very classic beetle looking exhausts. We can go for a chrome version of those if you want a more clean look. We can go for the big bar exhaust, which is just slightly larger. We can go for the upswept exhaust. We got the central exhaust, just a little bit closer together. 
we got the upswept version of that then we've got the baby stinger we've got the big bar stinger the upswept stinger the side stinger the mega stinger and the mega side stinger um, I actually quite like just this upswept stinger one right here that looks kind of cool um, I'm not sure if I want to go for maybe hmm I think I'm gonna go for the upswept stinger that looks pretty cool then on the fender options we've got the stock fenders and um, this is also uh, this allows you to have two different options applied so you'll see that later on some of the options are for the rear fenders as well they're all in the same category so you can apply whichever front fenders you want and then whichever rear fenders so we've got the headlight hoods which is just going to add those little like eyelashes on the headlights we've got the wire stone guards we've got the blacked out covers which is kind of interesting looking um, we've got the front arch extensions which you can see um, just adds that like little lip on the outside there um, we've got the carbon fenders so you can see that changes the whole fender to carbon and then we've got the chopped fenders which is going to well chop the fenders basically we got a primary version of that and a carbon version of that then we've got the fender delete so you can remove the whole fender completely if you want to and then these are going to change up the rear fenders so we've got the stock rear fenders we've got the arch extensions to match on the front we got the carbon rear arch we got the chopped rear fenders we've got the primary version of that and carbon and then we can go for the full fender delete um, I think it looks a little bit weird with that so I'm not really sure what kind of style I want to go for here I think maybe a primary chopped fender on the rear and then on the front I'm thinking maybe the full removed look so it kind of looks like a buggy it does look very strange I have to say um, maybe we'll just leave in the fenders like that and we'll just go for like the full kind of buggy look with it then on the hood we've got the primary hood secondary carbon and then we've got the fog light hood which adds those lights in the fo in the hood which looks really cool actually we got a secondary version and a carbon version of that. I actually really think that's cool, so I'm going to go with that. The hood accessories, we've got the adventure kit, and that's going to add some spades on there. Since we're going for the off-road look, I'm going to go with that. The horn, I'm not going to change up. The lights as standard are not working, apparently, because they are the main beam headlights. Kind of interesting. Um, delivery options okay let me just go to the top so a standard yours will probably look like this unless you unlock the English day version which I have here so you can see the two-tone is going to change up that bottom half and the wheels and then the primary is going to be the top part so um, you've got hot rod flames we've got purple flames we've got backyard camo a rid camo bf cup car which is kind of like herbie the beetle so um you can actually go for a herbie build and this thing actually does wheelies as well which i'll show you out later you can think um I can do it. so in case you didn't know herbie the beetle in real life actually does wheelies or it did in the movies is what i mean um so this thing actually can do wheelies and you can make it look like herbie which is pretty cool then we've got the Stronzo Racing, that looks really nice, I like that. We've got the Evil Weevil, we've got the Barn Find one, Forgotten Race Car, which is kind of the Herbie the Beetle one, but like a rusted out look. And then there? we've got the Beatnik Beater, the Tie Dyed, oh my lord, that is very bright. we got the Flower Power, we got Peace Man, Trippy Vibes love machine and that's it actually that is the english dave one um i actually really like the stronzo racing like one and i know it looks a bit weird with the red at the moment but i'm going to change it up in a minute um we'll come back to the respray in 
the uh, on the cage options we have the half cage which is going to cage out the back we've got half cage and sport seats we've got a half cage and street seats which actually adds like a crossbar in there we've got the full cage with drift seats we've got the full cage with drag seats full cage with race seats and the full cage with carbon seats I think I'm gonna go for the half cage and sport seats or oh, sorry the half cage and street seats because I like the crossbar in the back and it looks a bit more race car -y. then on the roof we've got the primary sun strip secondary sun strip then we've got the vintage rack we've got the seaside getaway we've got the tire rack We've got the off-road rack. Oh my god, that adds so much. We've got the vintage rack and board one. We've got board two, board three, basic rack and board one, Whatever board two want. and board three, modern rack and board one, board two and board three, and board four, and that is it. So a lot of different surfboard options if you want to go for that look. Um, I don't think that really goes with the build I'm going for. I actually really like this one because the fog lights on the top match what we have on the bull bar. And it kind of adds some spare wheels and stuff. It looks really nice so I'm going to go for that. The side skirt options comes without a side skirt on there or like uh, any running board. You can go for a basic running board which is going to be like black plastic you can go for that in chrome primary secondary carbon or you can go for the off-road kit which is going to add that uh, fuel tank on there I'm going to go for that looks really nice then on stressful. the back we have got some wing options so we can go for the primary race wing we can go for a carbon version of that then we got the primary drag wing so it is slightly different but very similar and then we've got that in carbon and then you can go for the full extreme aero wing if you want that just looks really stupid I don't like any of those so I'm not going to go for them the suspension options I'm going to leave it at full ride height but you can absolutely slam this thing and it does have the camber options if you want to so I'll just go through the different options once you get to here it's just going to start cambering the wheels out like we've seen with some of the other vehicles We'll go ahead and upgrade the transmission and the turbo and now we need to pick out some wheels so I'm thinking that we want some off-road wheels for this. Maybe we'll go to the newer off-road wheels at the bottom. I'm not really sure what's going to work well on this thing. I feel like some of these kind of five star wheels they look really nice so I'm going to go with those and then um, I'm actually going to keep the car in white just with delivery so maybe we'll go ahead and match the wheels up as white as well and then tyre design we'll go for some custom tyre lettering we'll put bulletproof tyres on there don't want to change up the smoke we'll go for a light tint and then let's just go back in and change up that secondary back to just white don't and there we go pretty. that is going to be my build complete kind of like an off-road racer Baja Dakar rally kind of build I think it looks really really nice you can make this thing look completely different so you can go for a street build you can go for an off-road build it's a really really nice looking car and it sounds and drives fantastic so let's take it outside and see how it goes so I thought it was only fitting that we actually brought this thing to an off-road track it is like an off-road rally build so I thought we'll test it out in the mud. I've overshot that corner massively. Um, but this thing actually drives really nice. On the little test drive I had here, it's not the fastest vehicle in the class, I have to say. That title still goes to the BF Club. So if you're doing compact races, the BF Club is actually the fastest vehicle to use. But this thing feels very competitive. It is a pretty fast car, I have to say. It does feel pretty quick. Um, it sounds absolutely fantastic as I'm sure you can hear and it does seem to like to drift quite a bit so that's something to be wary of but it's not like it drifts 
uncontrollably like you can control the drift and you can actually get some pretty nice slides going with this thing so if you want something easy to drift then maybe consider picking up the bf weevil it is pretty pretty nice vehicle for that um, the other thing that I found kind of curious was the amount of body roll this thing has. When you go around any kind of corner, the body leans side to side quite a lot. Now, you can reduce that by obviously adding the suspension options. Um, but since I have the maximum ride height, you can see here it likes to lean quite a lot as I crash into another vehicle. Um, the lights on the front, there we go, they actually do work so that's a nice little addition if you go for that remove fender look oh he's gonna come and shoot at me so i'll move on um yeah the lights actually do work which is pretty cool and this thing also does wheelies like herbie the beetle can so let me just stop here we rev it just like we do with the muscle cars and there you go you see it can do a wheelie so i don't know how good this is going to be for doing wheelies um, whether it will match some of the other muscle cars that can actually do really long wheelies but it seems like it could do pretty good wheelies you can do some long ones if you want to um, but that is going to be my review of the BF Weevil and customization I hope you enjoyed this video if you did I'd appreciate you dropping a like and share the video with your friends and if you're new to the channel we are trying to reach a thousand subscribers so if you want to help us out with that then consider subscribing but that's going to do it for today's video thanks all so much for watching hope you found it useful and i'll see you in the next video